Toronto and can Toronto FC return to winning ways tonight? Knee issue that he picked up in the game against Atlanta a week ago, but is good to go tonight. Pozuelo threw into the path of Osorio. Rolls forward for Jimenez. It takes us Jimenez across goal. And Cleveland can make the save. Sado. Chew in towards the byline. He's done well here as he pulls it back in. Mavinga got a touch to it. Comes all the way for Alex Roldan. Bradley sliding in with the challenge. And Westberg will come to try and claim. Forward it goes for Jimenez. Now Petrasso. Petrasso's ball in. Akinola got a touch to it. That one will roll out of play for a goal kick. One criticism I always have with DFC. Just don't consistently cross it into the box enough. That was a great tackle. Another three kicks given in the yellow card, the wrong decision. I think this is a good tackle. I thought he got the ball. You can't slide these days, can you? Bradley, Nelson. Jimenez goes down and gets the free kick. And a yellow card coming here for Nuhu. Pozuelo with four goals on the season so far. It will be Alejandro Pozuelo. Bit quicker with the switch. Jimenez into the path of Kosi Thompson. No chip it back in. Comes Rosario, who can't keep it down. Best chance of the game so far for TFC. Cleveland will take this. He's in goal tonight with Stephen Fry giving the weekend off. Rio Chu down the left side up against Salcedo. And Chu's got by him as he plays it into the front post. And it's a goal for Dylan Tevez. Seattle have the lead. Brian Schmetz are making changes. And one of the players given the opportunity is Dylan Tevez. And he gets his first Major League Soccer goal. In the game. But he's just got a very, very important one in respect to his career. This is the battle that we saw earlier. Down the sides when Salcedo is out the window of the box. Real true has got the beating of him. Passed him on the outside, this time brilliant ball into the middle and Dylan Tevez comes from the right hand side, he doesn't hang out wide, he gets into the middle where it matters, where it hurts, and all he's got to do is guide the pace and the delivery from... It was 10 minutes after half time on Wednesday, tonight Bob Bradley changes it at half time and Akinola removed again, this time Kerr coming on after 45 minutes. Marshall Rutty down the line, connecting with Nelson, who run and Alex rolled out. Back it comes for the captain, Michael Bradley. Bradley's ball in, looking for DeAndre Kerr! Chance. What a ball. It's decent defending, I have to say, from Nuhu. He tracks pretty well. Don't know if he gets a little glance in it, or if it's just pretty unsighted for Kerr. He doesn't get a glance. Ball forward into the path of Leo Chu. Randa into the box, it comes all the way there for Montero off the bar. What a chance for Seattle, six minutes after half time. Lovely ball in, not defended particularly well. We'll see how he has there. It really early as Mavinga gets over. He can't keep it under the crossbar, it's quite unfortunate. I couldn't believe, having been around here when he was drafted all that time ago in 2009 that he's now 36, Stefan Fry. This ball played through towards Pozuelo, what a save from what Cleveland. Save. What a save. Stefan Cleveland, lovely ball from Jimenez, he just bolts it forward and as Cleveland's coming out, he's thinking it's going to be enough, it's hard, he's not even set, but he just reacts, outstretched left leg, what a save. Kellen Rowe drafted third all the way back in 2012, it's his second year in Seattle. And his name with the revolution is Ladero pushing this one through. It's a great chance for Seattle as Freddy Montero doubles the Sounders lead on the hour at BMO Fields. TFC sliced open. And they find themselves down by two in front of the home fans once again. He's been excellent all night. He's part of the move in the beginning. And he's love given goal with the Sounders captain. It's sublime, it really is beautiful football from the Seattle Sounders. TFC chasing shadows and the space is there for Montero just to drift in behind the TFC defence and the composure. He's been rewarding for that trust and that relationship that he has with them. Row with the crossfield ball for Double Air. He's got support from Roldan down, down the right, but Double Air will go and goal himself. Westberg is able to get there. 
Marshal Rutti. Jimenez. And now it comes towards Michael Bradley from distance. It's Bradley straight towards Cleveland. Seattle 20 minutes away from an eighth win of the campaign and a third victory away from home. Tonight we'll see them go up from seventh to fourth with a win. And Adero just rolling the ball back there instead of just dropping it. Pozuelo with the outswinger. Sassino met it from post. It's knocked in by Osorio just wide. Salcedo and it's straight at Cleveland. Brilliant from Montero. It's the battling qualities and the, the talent to hold that. It's Priso from distance. It's Priso and Cleveland makes the save. Pozuelo's out swinger all the way towards Jaquil Marshall Rutti. Looks like he's got some energy to burn, doesn't he? Playing in centre back. Not enough for him. Flag stays down as Nuhu slips it forward. And it's a chance for a third as Westberg makes the save as we move into stoppage time. And this time he doesn't have to get a hand to that one, but it was the opportunity there from the substitute. Yeah, what a chance for Reed Baker Whiting. Went for power, didn't quite find the precision then. Pozuelo, forward towards Osorio, that's a free kick. Another yellow coming from Silvio Petrescu, this time for Jackson Reagan. It's full time, it's back-to-back -back home defeats here for Toronto FC as they await the arrival of Insigne and Crescito and the transfer window opens next week.